Check this out. There we go. The old slide gill. Wide open water, working it like a spook, it catches them. So we're out here, we've got the DC slide gill from Savage. I would not classify this as a top water frog, okay? This is a unique bait all to its own. So what this, does is it has a very erratic walk the dog action okay it'll come through cover just perfect you can skip it under trees you can do all that stuff with it but what it does really really well is it, it it's it's got a walk the dog glide i would call it and so it's real erratic so you might get a short stroke and then a really long stroke that'll go up like underneath a pad or something like this and so the fish are a little bit more aggressive because it's got an aggressive action because it's working side to side pretty quick when the fish are aggressive whether they're on shad or bluegill, knocking bluegill up through the edge of the grass, this bait's gonna come in handy. I mean, an action that every fisherman, I don't care what part of the country you're in, is a walking action, right? I mean, it's, it's widely considered one of the best actions you can put on a lure. You know, but in the past, you've been kind of relegated to outside the cover. So if you wanted to throw something that walked in the cover, and you wanted to try to get back in the cover, you, were, you had one choice, and that was a frog-style bait but it's one, two, one, two, it's real short. You couldn't really get the big, you know, side to side, you know, your, your good walk. And uh, it's kind of nice now. I mean, this, this bait, you know, you're able to kind of combine the two. You can skip it up under there. Man, when you hit it, it just goes, toop, toop. you know, like a glide bait or like a, like a walking bait. And uh, you know, this is the first time I've been able to actually put a really wide walk on a bait way up under cover under overhangs or into the pads you know on top of all that it looks like a dang bluegill i mean it looks just like one so you know it's just super realistic it's got a great walk to it something we just haven't been able to do before it's nice when you are able to see something that's just not a duplication of something else that we've already done it's it's a whole new category or a whole new presentation you can offer you know, the thing about bluegill, and whether it's a bluegill, shellcracker, whatever, that body style, right, that forage is available everywhere we fish in the country. One thing I've noticed with this bait is, one, I mean, it's the shape, right? I mean, it's that bluegill shape. But it's so realistic that I'm able to stop it in holes. You know, normally, you know, I teach everybody, if you're throwing a frog back in the cover, don't ever pause it where there's open water. You know, don't, you don't do it. You work it through the open cover, you know, anywhere where there's a, if there's an opening, you go and you work it real fast through it. And the reason you do that is you don't want the, the fish to get a good look at it. This bait is so realistic that it's actually the exact opposite. What you're gonna do is you're gonna skip it under there and you're gonna work it, work it, work it, and you're gonna slide it and just kill it in that hole. And you hope they look at it. You know, it's, it's completely contrary to what I've taught with a frog in the past. They'll come up and smack it when they see it because it's just like a bluegill. <clears throat> we don't find many banks anymore that haven't been fished during the day. And so, you know, you've got to do something different down those banks. And so you want to take this bait and you want to go behind a guy that's fishing a hollow belly frog. It's a completely different technique. It's a different retrieve. It's something the fish haven't seen. So that in itself will get you more bites for sure. There's several things that bass do with bluegill, right? One, they hate them during the spawn. You know, pet, especially post-spawn. Well, typically during the post-spawn, when they're garden fry, they're looking up, and it's a gr and it can be a great top water time. And this just captures all of that, right? It's on top. It's bluegill. It's super realistic. Great post-spawn bait. And then, to me, the next thing I think of when I think of bluegill is the fall. When the baby bluegill are in the mats, in grass mats, you know, they get in, they get in the pads, and you hear that popping sound you know, in the grass. And, uh, you know, what's happening is them bluegill are up there sucking all the, you know, their little forage, you know, off of the mats and the bass are just kind of working around those mats, just waiting on them and blowing them through the mats and through the pads. You know, so once again, a perfect time for this bait's gonna be post-spawn when they hate bluegill and in the fall when they're just eating them like candy.
When you're fishing topwater, a vast majority of the time, I think people are thinking wide open cover, you know, you know, easy to easy to cast, overhand cast, all that kind of stuff. Well, you can see what we're doing right here is uh, kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of fishing. I mean, we're in tight, but uh, one of the nice things about this bait is I'm able to topwater fish, but at the same time, get it everywhere I need it to be, tight the cover, underneath overhangs, bushes, all that kind of stuff, and then just walk it out. You could never do this with a, a spook style bait or any other walking bait.